The Ashlands contains a hidden secret, and today we're going to talk about it. Let's get to it. The devs have added a bunch of new weapons in this update, one of which is much more difficult to get than all of the others because there are three separate pieces you need to collect before you are able to craft it, and they are spread throughout the Ashlands. And that sword is called the Dernwin, and I'm probably not quite pronouncing that right, but I don't really care. You can see its name on the screen. Let's quickly go over its stats. So it only weighs zero. 0.8 it has 200 durability it deals 125 slash damage by default and 10 fire damage by default it costs you 16 stamina every time you swing it it has a block armor of 57 a block force of 20 a two times parry bonus a knockback of 40 a backstab of 3 and it reduces your move speed by 0.5 percent so how do you get it well first off you have to make it to the ashlands once you make it to the ashlands you will find these putrid whole caves all over the place most of the time they will have a Morgan inside sometimes they won't and inside these caves at random there is a chance for one of these stones to spawn and when you activate it it will reveal one of three locations on the map after you have revealed a location you go to it and there will be an altar there and on that altar will be one of three pieces that you need to craft this sword if you go to one of the altars and there is not a piece on the stone there should be a cave connected to it or a cave very close to it for me mine was connected to it and i had to dig my way into the cave by breaking part of the structure that the cave was connected to once you get inside the cave there is a boss in there you have to fight that boss and kill that boss and it will drop one of the three pieces note that this is a little bit confusing and it won't drop a random piece it drops the same piece all the time it's the hilt so so if you have the other two pieces, you know that's what you're going after is the hilt and you're going to have to fight this boss. If you go to one of these locations and there is no piece on the altar, that is the hilt piece location, which means that cave with that boss in it should be connected or very close by. I know it's a little confusing. I'm not sure why they didn't just put all three pieces on an altar each, but this is how they did it. So now you know what you need to do and hopefully it won't be as confusing for you as it was for me. Now that you know how to get the sword, you know the process process you need to go to to get it, you know how hard it is to get, let's talk about why I don't think it's worth the effort to go after. So the new highest level sword that you can get is the Nidahog or however you pronounce that, not sure how you say any of these words, but you can see it on the screen. Its base stats are 135 slash damage. Every other stat on this sword is the exact same as the fire sword, the Dernwin. The damage on the Dernwin actually adds up to 135, so 125 slash damage, 10 fire damage now granted it's only going to do between 8 to 10 fire damage as you can see here in most cases the level one isn't going to do quite that much and it burns for a period of time so technically it's probably going to end up doing more damage than what it says on the tooltips however that is damage over time that the target has to burn for and not just flat out straight damage that the new nidhog sword can do with a single hit now here's the interesting part if you have a fully upgraded black forge your Black Forge should be level 5. That means you can upgrade the, I'm just going to call it the Flame Metal Sword, the Flame Metal Sword to rank 3 because a level 1 needs a level 4 Black Forge to upgrade. A level 2 needs a level 5, which would put you at level 3 when you upgrade it. After that, you need a level 6 Black Forge, which we cannot do yet. Now, the Dernwin, on the other hand, at level 1 needs a level 5 Black Forge. That means you can only upgrade the Dernwin one time. Well, if we compare a level three flame metal sword, it deals 147 slash damage. If we take a look at a level two Dernwin, it only deals 131 slash damage and 10 fire damage. If you combine those two numbers together, you're looking at 141 damage. So that means with 100 skill in swords, you are going to deal 125 to 147 damage with the flame metal sword. With the Dernwin, you're only going to deal 111 to 131 slash and then 8 to 10 fire damage that's going to tick five times. So your basic flame metal sword is going to give you much more damage than you would get from the Dernwin. Now I also want to point out that you can specialize the flame metal sword into one of three different versions. You can do the bleeding version, the thundering version, and the primal version. All of these are on the same damage level as the Dernwin. They're also much easier to get a hold of 
and much easier to craft. All you need is a level one flame metal sword and six flame metal and then one of the different types of gems that you can get in the Ashlands which are relatively easy to get because they're in the stronghold. These specialized swords can also only be upgraded to rank two just like the Dernwin can and their damage is also on par with the Dernwins. So for example the primal version deals 131 and then 10 poison damage but I would argue that the poison version of this sword is stronger than the fire version as it has a 15% chance per hit to immobilize your enemy which locks them down they can't move allowing you to easily get behind them or hit weak spots and, or just run away I mean all the different advantages you get from locking a target down so it deals the same amount of damage but has the bonus feature of locking a target down the bleeding version deals more damage the more health you're missing and the lightning version just deals additional lightning damage it's nothing too crazy special it's just good for things that are weak against lightning and I know what you're wondering you're like well they made the Dernwin so much harder to get does it do anything special no it's just a fire sword it's the exact same as the lightning version or the thundering one but it just deals fire damage instead of lightning damage which isn't even really helpful in the new biome because everything there is fire based and almost everything there is just normal damage when you light it on fire or it's resistant to the damage now fire damage may be really good in the next biome but we don't have the next biome yet so we can't really speculate on how that's going to actually play out all we can do is talk about how the game is now and right now I don't really see any large benefit to the stress of trying to get a hold of this sword other than just getting it just so you can have it to be a completionist in my opinion if you're going melee you're better off with either the poison option the lightning option which there are things in the ashlands biome that are weak to lightning damage or just using the base version leveled up to level three and deal 147 slashing damage considering all the steps that you have to go through to hunt down this sword i really feel like it needs to do something special something different something more than what it does now because now it's just on par with the other elemental versions of it which are significantly easier to get a hold of so let me know what you all think down there in the comments section is this something that you're going to try to get is it something that you want do you think it should do more than what it does considering it's so much more difficult to go after i'm eager to hear your all's thoughts and see if you agree other than that i think that's gonna wrap it up for this one if you like what you saw consider hitting that sub button and a notification bell so you can be notified when i upload other videos and if you're looking for some more of my content you can find a link to another one of my videos on the screen right now i want to give an absolute massive shout out and thank you to all of my channel supporters for helping to keep these videos a sponsor free you all are absolutely amazing people if you would like to become an official channel supporter check out the links in the description below if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy you don't like to comment just hit that thumbs up button and share your support until next time thanks for watching